Hey guys, this is Ishwal Lamte. Now for every great video, as a great audio that actually complements the video. And to be able to achieve having a great audio as part of your video, you actually need to invest in a couple of audio devices that is going to help you achieve that. For me personally, I have had a terrible experience over the years trying to figure out which audio devices to use and the rest. And through my research and the rest, I have actually been able to get a couple of audio devices that helps me perform different tasks and so on. I have had a, um, a couple of you know, terrible audios in the past and the rest even if you watch some of my videos realize some of my audios weren't that great so you keep learning every now and then so the purpose of this particular video is to actually showcase or show you a couple of audio devices that i use for different purposes so to start with i use this um, microphone over here so this is a um, a movo microphone so movo AU um, A04 studio microphone. Now the purpose of this microphone is I use it for video tutorial. So on screen recorded video tutorial. So performing something on the screen and then I want to record sound. So this particular microphone I used to do that. I also use it for my video courses. And it's also a great microphone for, um, you know, podcast. So if you are considering doing a podcast, this isn't a, mic a bad microphone at all. And I actually went in for this microphone because it's not that pricey. Uh, yeah, so I'll put a, a link in the description for you to get to see this particular microphone. So this is a micro one of the microphones I use for my screen recorded stuff. So that's the first one. And then the next thing is this particular microphone here, which is a Panasonic EM2800A uh, microphone, a boom microphone. So this is basically for outdoor stuff, not necessarily outdoor, you can actually use it indoor, but if you are looking at conducting an interview between maybe two people or more, you want to be asking questions, there's a great microphone you can actually use. So it has a windshield over here, which prevents, you know, um, a lot of, you know, air from getting into the microphone to distort your microphone sound. And then it also has a switch over here, which gives you um, two different um, options so there's the normal option as well as the, there's the tele option so you probably be using normal if you're not looking at a lot of um, maybe you're just doing um, an interview between two people but if you're looking at a lot of people talking and being able to capture the sound then you're probably looking at tele now talking about microphones you actually need to understand how microphones work very well so they are directional microphones they are omnidirectional and so on depending on what you are doing or the pen or determine which kind of microphone you're going to use. Now for this microphone I did talk about earlier on, it's a directional microphone. So it's just capturing sound from this particular angle. So even if I'm doing podcast and I'm having multiple people, this won't be a suitable microphone to use for everybody. This is just for one person talking into this particular direction. But for maybe other people, you can have the same microphones capturing sound. So that's where this particular uh, microphone. Now with this one, this is actually an, an omnidirectional microphone, which means it captures, captures micro uh, sound um, from, you know, uh, should I say a round um, way or yeah, so that's how this particular microphone works. So that's what I use it for. It uses a battery. So you just uh, open it here, put a battery inside and it also can be powered with a phantom power. So this is a cable that works with it. Um, this is a, to the smaller pot, uh, the smaller jack. Now, so this actually records in stereo. So you just um, put the, you know, the cable in here. You connect this to your recorder, then you're good to go. If not, you probably wouldn't have to use the battery and then you connect a phantom cable to it as well as to your recorder, then you're good to record your sound. So that's um, the Panasonic Boom microphone in here, which actually performs um, great. I've actually owned this microphone for about three years. It's actually served me very well. I've used it for different kind of videos. Yeah, so that's that's the, um, this particular microphone in here. Now the next microphone I'll talk about is also Movo. Um, so there's a mobile wireless microphone, um, which has a lapel. So let me just show you that. Uh, this. So this is how it actually looks in the box. So this is actually a wireless, a transceiver, as well as um, a transmitter, as well as a, tra um, a receiver. So what this does is, or how do I use this? So this comes with a lapel. Let me just take this out so you get to see it. This microphone comes with a lapel where you connect it to the uh, transmitter. And then you have the transceiver connected to your audio device. You can actually mount this on top of your um, camera. All you have to do is to, um, you know, take this apart. So let me just see. Uh, 
you just have to take this apart you put a hot shoe to it and then you mount it on top of your camera and then a good thing about this is you can actually record um, sound to your mobile phone so it comes with a cable in here that allows you to record sound to your mobile phone so that's a there's a cable in here that allows you to do that i think that's here so that's it that allows you to do that so that's um what microphone i use so i use this microphone if there's a kind of distance between i and the camera or, or where the audio device is so i don't necessarily want to have a longer cable probably use this back um wireless microphone to do that so now the model of the body of this particular microphone um is um w that's movo w mic 10 um, p so that's the model the link is going to be in the description as well so that i get to see this microphone as well so that's uh, another microphone i use in there and then uh, the next one which i'll talk about is my xpis um, lapel microphone which i've spoken about in one of my videos you see a link to it so this one mic i use a lot in terms of videos like this talking to the camera i have this um you know clip to my ata then i talk and it's able to grab the sound so this microphone also allows you to record into smartphones as well as into recorders by the help of the uh, knob over here so when you turn it to the smartphone it means you're using a smartphone if it's to the camera you're using a sound recorder or you're recording directly to the camera and then um last but not the least is this uh, movo microphone over here i'm actually a fan of movo a lot yeah so i use a lot of movo stuff because um, of their packaging their branding and the rest uh, and then their stuff are also you know quality so and then not that pricey so this is also another movo microphone i use i just got this recently now the purpose of this is probably outdoor stuff so it has this windshield over here which is able to you know prevent a lot of um, wind from getting into your sound to distort it now you can mount this on top of your camera so this is some kind of hot shoe over here you slide it um, on top of where you probably will be putting your flash and then you just close it now one cool aspect of this particular mic is i can use it with my movie so if you haven't seen movie yet there's a video i have made on um, the movie smartphone gimbal which you can take a look at at the card at the top so this particular microphone is to serve that purpose help me take outdoor videos without having so much issues with sound so this is just going to be mounted on top of the camera or mounted on top of my movie and then i'm good to go now this also allows me to record my sound directly into the camera i can also record directly into a recorder or i can record directly into my smartphone using the dedicated cable for that so these are basically the microphones i use um this um microphone for my video tutorials video courses my boom mic over here there's um, wireless microphone there's uh, movie microphone basically for outdoor stuff as well as my x um, pis microphone now for my sound recorder if you watch my video about my basic setup i was using the tascam dr04 or was it 05 yeah now i had to upgrade it a bit so now i'm using the tascam d our 40x um sound recorder so this mic um this sound recorder also comes with its own microphone which is very great i was actually impressed about the inbuilt microphone of this particular device now why did i get this device i got this device because i needed to be able to you know um, break away from the dr05 which wasn't really helping in terms of if i wanted to record video i'm um, sorry audio from multiple people i just had one input which wasn't so great now this one has a couple of inputs as well as a couple of channels which allows you to perform and it has a lot of functions and so many things i actually struggled to be able to use my microphone i'm using with this particular device because i needed to figure out a lot of things and it's finally working so i'm using um, a mono um, adapter over here which i have my normal microphone um, adapter or um, cable or yeah connected to it which is helping me record my sound so basically these are the audio devices i use as i said earlier they all perform different functions and it is very important to be able to try as much as get audio devices that are going to help you with whatever you are doing now what you have to take note is i didn't get all of these audio devices one time it took a lot of years to be able to get these audio devices i started off with this um, microphone which i've used for so many stuff then i continued with this one and then also with what i'm using here and then i got this as well as i recently got this and they are not so much expensive so yeah 
and they really work well so then if you are looking at getting microphones for your project you should look at something within your budget range which is very important so that's just about it for this video if you have any questions don't um, hesitate to ask them in the comment section below and i'll try my possible best to help you out with those um, answers so that's just about it for this video if you are new to this channel all you have to do is to hit and smash on the subscribe button anyhow and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's any video you get to see it once again my name is Ishmael Lamte. thank you very much for watching bye for